Once upon a time, there lived a girl who lived in a storybook who was really dumb. Well, sometimes. Oh, that's me. I call myself stupid. Okay, but anyways, she didn't live in a colored book. She lived in a clay colored book. Oh, that's so ugly. Oops, cut myself. Anyways, one day she was not so dumb and she became very clever. She discovered something that looked like this. And it was a phone. She looked inside and at the back of it. And she was fascinated by it. And it was moving the screen. But she discovered something else in this mysterious phone. She discovered that it could play music. And she could press buttons. Oh. And it played. Furthermore, she was really interested in this phone invention. One day, she found something else very fascinating. An eye calculator. She calls it, well, I call it an eye calculator because it looks like an iPod Nano. But anyways, it was broken. By her sister. See? Pressing any button, nothing happened. She was so disappointed in this that she threw away her phone. And that was that. But the story isn't over yet. Stay tuned. Okay, back to the story. She discovered a Rubik's Cube. And it was from the famous cousin of hers, Harris Chan. He was the second fastest Rubik's Cuber person in the world and the fastest in North America. So, he sent this for her to play with, me to play with. Anyways, so that was that with the Rubik's Cube. She tried to twist and twist it, but nothing happened. Well, the colors changed, but they didn't fix. So, she tried throwing it to the ground, and every day, and nothing happened. So she was furious and she had tantrums and she used to scare birds away. Anyways, she would always send letters to Harris Chan that the Rubik's Cube was useless. Sorry. Anyways, apology not accepted, said Harris Chan. So, stay tuned for part three, the final part three. Welcome back, and there was... The friendship bracelet. Isa and Ari. Ari's me. I'm the stupid girl. Oh. Anyways, we made friendship bracelets. 
I thought it was better if we bought it from Claire's. Well, actually, Isa thought that. Or me. I forgot. But we made friendship bracelets. Or let's say, Isa and Aerie. Which is the YouTube account you are watching right now. But they made this. It was very unfortunate that this thing wasn't so great after all. Just kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Anyways. This was very important to their lives because this is their exile of life. Just kidding again. But this was still very important. Just as important of this phone. Hey, what is this doing here again? Bye. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this is actually what it looks like, the friendship bracelet. But, um, thanks for watching, and please comment. If you don't like it, then you can tell me to redo it again. Because, <coughs> my throat hurts from that voice, so, yeah.